And today we find that there are various societies and the various ways of life in these societies. We have the Islamic way of life, we have the Western way of life, and we have a variety of different ways of life. As far as Islam is concerned, Islam is a complete way of life. It caters both to the spiritual aspect of the soul as well as the physical aspect of the body. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number three, on this day have I completed your religion for you and have completed my favor for you and have chosen for you Islam. So once Islam is completed, nothing new can be added or subtracted from it. Our deen is complete. So as far as the way of life is concerned, Islam is a complete way of life. When we mix Islam with the other societies and other ways of life and other cultures, whichever culture we're living in, if that part of the culture is not against the Islamic Sharia, is not against the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, we do not mind following or agreeing with that culture. But if that culture, if that society goes against Quran and Sahih Hadith, we should not follow it. Islam is number one. And now we find that many a times while upbringing our children, we have a problem because of the differences in societies and cultures. And we are aware of the Western society, as many of the Muslims, they're living in Western society. And we find that though the Western society, it is advanced in science and technology, but as far as moral values are concerned, they are declining. We find in the Western society that alcoholism is on the increase, drug addiction is on the increase, obscenity is on the increase, adultery is on the increase, rape is on the increase, crime is on the increase. While educating our children, we should see to it that we give them a proper Islamic education. And while we train them and upbring them in a Western society or any society in the world, it may be an Eastern society also, we should see to it that we should make them a good Muslim. That is, one who submits his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.